Hey, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to do a calculated field in Microsoft Excel. So in my data, I have a total header rows on row one. I have a total of 576 records. And column C is what I'm worried about in column E. If the rep made over $4 million in invoice amount, I'm making this up, they get a $5,000 bonus. If they didn't get $4 million, we're going to give them two bucks just because we're nice. Two ways to do this, but the way I want to show you right now is I'm going to do a pivot table with a calculated field. Insert tab, pivot table. It picked up my data range. Click OK. I'm going to check, there are my fields. I'm going to check rep. I'm going to check invoice amount. I'm going to right click any one of these numbers. I just want to format the numbers so they look better. Value field settings. Let's go to number format. Let's make it currency. I don't need to see any decimal places. Hit OK. Hit OK. So the only rep that's over $4 million is Carol Jones. What I don't want you to do is highlight this information, copy it, and do a paste values and then write an if statement over here because this information if the data changes the pivot table will change but not this over here so that's why you have what's called a calculated field pivot table tools analyze calculations group let's go up here to fields items and sets and let's do a calculated field and so basically you're naming the new field that's not in your data set so I'm gonna call it commission and what formula do I want to use if you notice all my fields are currently here that was my header row but I need to make an if statement so I'm gonna say equals if I double clicked invoice amount if the invoice amount greater than 4 million comma I believe we said we we're going to give them five thousand dollars comma if it's not over 4 million we'll give them two dollars click OK I now have over here to the right a field that was not in my data set called Commission and those numbers are correct if you notice. So let's tweak this. Let's see if this works. Art Vandalay's at 3,850,000. I'm going to go back to my data just to test this. I'm going to go back to Sheet 4. I'm going to right click and refresh. There we go. So that is a calculated field. Just so you know this, I'm going to go back here one more time, but I'm not going to walk all the way through it. I could have done, I've got invoice amount and cost. Eh, now I'm going to do it. I'm going to do another calculated field. Profit. This one's going to be equals. I'm going to double click invoice amount. Minus. Cost. Click OK. And if you're saying, well, I don't understand that, well, I'm not showing the cost, so let's just go throw the cost in here. There's your cost. I'll right click and copy. I'm testing this. Paste values equals that minus that. 217.136, 217.136. The data changes, the calculated fields will change in the pivot table. So there's two examples of when to use calculated fields in a pivot table. Thank you.